here it is jc and aparna 50 meters running event cool hi are you jc yes i am and you are i am aparna so is this your first year as a scout member yes all right Welcome to the scout group. We need to prepare the track for the 50 meters running event. Shall we begin? Okay. Hmm. Let's begin the work, JC. Yeah, I think we should first mark the distance between the start and the end point. Correct. Bring the ruler, JC. Then we will start marking the track. Here. This <laughs> Oh JC. This is a 15 cm ruler. We can't use this to mark a track of 50 meters. But then how do we mark the distance Aparna? JC, there are different units to measure length. Millimeter, centimeter and meter. What is the difference between them? Well JC millimeter is a small unit of length as compared to the other two 10 millimeters make 1 cm Oh that means centimeter is a large unit of length right Well centimeter is a larger unit of length when compared to millimeter and meter is a larger unit of length compared to centimeter you know 100 cm make 1 meter oh that makes meter a large unit of length yes jc now since the length of the track is 50 meters it is a good idea to use the meter scale This centimeter scale can be used to measure the length of small objects, JC. Take my watch and measure it using the centimeter scale you're holding. Hmm, the length of the wrist watch is 1 2 3 12 cm. Look carefully, JC. Um, it is a little more than 12 cm. Correct, JC. Let's look closely at the scale. Can you see these 10 divisions between any two numbers? These divide 1 cm into 10 equal parts. Each part is represented in fractional form as 1 by 10 of a cm. This is called 1/10 of 1 cm. Hey, that's millimeter, right? Exactly, JC. 1 mm is 1/10 of a centimeter. Okay, let me check the length of the watch again. Hmm, the actual length is 12 cm and 1 2 3 4 5 mm. Correct. Hey, you can even represent millimeters in the form of centimeters how is that possible aparna jc the way each digit of a number has a place value similarly fractions also have a place value the value of a whole number is equal to or greater than 1 while the value of a fraction is less than 1 therefore we use a decimal point to separate whole numbers from the decimal numbers the place value chart is extended to the right to accommodate fractions 5 mm is 5/10 of 1 cm therefore the whole number 12 and the fractional part 5/10 can be represented by placing a decimal point between them therefore 
we can write 12 centimeters and 5 millimeters as 12.5 centimeters. Okay, I got it now. 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters and 1 millimeter is equal to 1 by 10 centimeters. Correct, JC. Now let's begin with the track. Yeah, JC, this is a meter scale. Wow, this is so much longer than my centimeter ruler. Yes, JC, we have to mark the 50 meters track using this. Hello, sir. Hello, Aparna. Hi, JC. How is the preparation going? It's going well, sir. Aparna was just about to show me how to use a meter ruler. Okay. This ruler has markings in centimeters. Hey, I know why that is. This is because 100 centimeters make 1 meter, right? Yes, you're right, JC. And each of these 100 parts of a meter can also be represented in fractional form as 1 by 100. Correct. And this is called 1 hundredth of 1 meter. So, can you tell me what is the relationship between centimeter and meter? Sir, 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. Or we can also say that 1 centimeter is equal to 1 upon 100 meters. Good. So, JC, can you imagine how many centimeters it would take to cover the 50 meters long track? Hmm, 50 multiplied by 100 is equal to 50,000 centimeters. Excellent, JC. Now let me help you in marking the track. Phew, finally done. Aha, now I'll take leave. You guys have done a good job. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Bye. Hmm. What are you thinking, JC? Aparna, can meters be represented in millimeters as well? Oh, oh of course. JC, one centimeter is equal to how many millimeters? That's simple. One centimeter is equal to ten millimeters. Correct! And 1 meter is equal to how many centimeters? 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. Right! So, how many millimeters make 100 centimeters, JC? 100 centimeters, um, 100 multiplied by 10, that is 1000 millimeters. Correct! And we know that 100 centimeters is equal to 1 meter. Therefore, 1 meter is equal to 1000 millimeters. That means 1 meter is divided into 1000 equal parts and each part represents a millimeter. Yes, JC. So, 1 millimeter is equal to 1000th of a meter. Thanks, Aparna. Now I know everything about units of length. <laughs> you think so, JC? Let me check how much you have understood. JC, this track has 8 lanes and the width of each lane is 1 meter. So, what is the total width of the track? That's simple. 8 multiplied by 1, that is 8 meters. Good. Now, how many centimeters is equal to 8 meters? Since 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters, 8 meters is equal to 8 multiplied by 100, that is 800 centimeters. Very good. So, how many millimeters is equal to 8 meters, JC? Hmm. 1 meter is equal to 1000 millimeters. So, 8 multiplied by 1000, that is 8000 millimeters. 
Excellent, JC. You have really understood everything. Thank you, Aparna, for teaching me all about the units of length. Hey, even you were a good helping hand, JC. Yeah, JC, for being a good scout. Thank you. Some of the common units used to measure length are millimeter, centimeter, and meter. You can convert one unit of measurement into another. One centimeter is equal to ten millimeters, or one millimeter is equal to one tenth of a centimeter. One meter is equal to one hundred centimeters, or one centimeter. Is equal to one hundredth of a meter. One meter is equal to one thousand millimeters, or one millimeter is equal to one thousandth of a meter.